Desert box turtles are omnivores, eating native vegetation that surrounds their habitat and also eating insects and smaller animals. Considering that they inhabit plain grasslands or mesquite grasslands, their diet consists of largely ground-living insects that include grasshoppers, beetles and caterpillars. The one important element in their diet are dung beetles and they are in exploitable quantities due to great numbers of herbivores in the population. As the population of dung beetles decreases, the number of box turtles decreases with it as well. Desert box turtles usually prefer wet springs where egg production is higher compared to dry springs where a smaller proportion of females produce eggs. Spring rains may increase the proportion of females laying eggs in the summer and in years with dry springs. If the spring rains don't come, then the desert turtles won't lay their eggs. Because of the seasonal droughts, it is possible that growth and reproductive patterns of desert box turtles differ from species found in Central North America. Their overall activity when it comes to mating or laying eggs is completely correlated to the air temperature and not the precipitation. Male desert box turtles are normally sexually mature by the time they are 8 to 9 years of age but in captivity have been known to breed as young as the age of two. Females normally require 10 to 11 years to reach sexual maturity and their breeding season lasts between March and May, and nesting sites will be chosen from May to July. Males will be sexually active from the time they emerge from hibernation until September or October. Males often fight aggressively with other males over females when looking for a mate.
Box turtles in North America are increasingly becoming a conservation concern because of habitat loss and because they are being harvested for the pet trade. The destruction of prairies due to land renovations has led to the decline of the desert box turtles across much of their geographical range. These sites showed high fidelity and were used for overwintering habitats. But efforts have been placed by land management organizations by considering the use of translocation programs in order to restore the desert box turtles population to areas specifically reserved for them. But they are faced with the problem of long-term post-translocation monitoring because they have to establish new home ranges that are unfamiliar to the box turtles. Plus, they are notorious for returning to their site of origin and have very small home ranges where they exhibit high fidelity and used it as overwintering sites. Desert box turtles hibernate in the winter and are naturally freeze tolerant. This is due to the fact that they are greatly affected by air temperature and the weather. As soon as November hits, hibernation begins and lasts until late May and early June. They usually hibernate at temperatures between 1 and 15 degrees.
The desert box turtles have designated overwintering or hibernation sites that are closely within their home range. The desert box turtles burrow themselves into the ground for about 35 centimeters with their hind sticking out. They stay burrowed until the temperature increases and certain factors like warming of the ground temperature, precipitation and ground moisture are present. They attain a five-month dormancy until they emerge and become active again. Decide if you are comfortable with the requirements for tortoise care and the adjustments you may have to make to your yard. For example, if you have dogs, can they be kept separate? Acceptable produce, includes beet greens, green beans, bok choy, kale, cilantro, mustard greens, dandelion greens, collard greens, parsley, endive, spinach, snow peas, and turnip greens. Other recommended foods include grape leaves, mulberry leaves, hibiscus flowers and leaves, rose petals, and hay. I found this desert box turtle behind my workshop on one weekend. 
My wife called the animal control for advice as to the release of the turtle. The animal control chief personally came to pick her up as his mother has a nature habitat for desert box turtles. On her way to her new home, she held on to a strawberry on her mouth which gave everyone a laugh. This ends the story of the featured desert box turtle in New Mexico. Thank you for watching.